and there is your cylinder. It's off, and these two bolts will pull out too. A lot of times there's oil from, um, from those oil lines that we pulled off. Sometimes there's oil up in these heads. On the bottom side here, we've got your valves. We've got your intake on this side, slightly larger than your exhaust here. Your cam chain obviously runs down in this area, and there is your camshaft right there. To pull this camshaft, two Phillips screws, which are right here, and this camshaft will pull out with the bearing, and you may have to kind of move it back and forth like, like that to get it out of there because your rockers will be resting on top of this camshaft. Um, I like to find top dead center before I pull the motor and uh, rebuild it. That way going back together, or just pulling off, I guess, your cam chain is in the correct, or your, excuse me, your cam shaft is in the right position, meaning it's free here and not putting pressure on those valves. Um, allowing you to pull that camshaft out with no problem. You know what, why don't we do that quick so you have an idea what we're doing there. I like to just set the camshaft, or the, the cylinder head there. I take a impact driver like this. You want know, to be really careful. A lot of times I'll take a block of wood or something, set it in behind there so you're not steel against aluminum. You can take, tap on it. It doesn't take a lot of pressure, but these impact drivers here make it extremely easy. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull these Phillips screws my hands are in the way so you can't really see what I'm doing but just pulling these two Phillips screws here and then this piece will um, pull out of the way and you can feel there that we've got some movement what you can do is set your cam chain sprocket bolt back in there There we go. See, you just kind of have to wiggle it out. When I was pulling it out the first time there, a lobe was actually, and you can maybe see down in there, a lobe was just resting on that cam uh, lobe. A uh, rocker was resting on that cam lobe, causing it not to pull out. Now, to get the rockers out, do the same thing. You can use about any bolt that you can find. I don't like using bolts that I'm going to reuse on the motor, but screw them down in there. And then um, I'm not going to pull these out right now because, like I said, I don't want, well, Easy enough to do, but you just you just screw any bolt down in there that same size and lift them out. And again, we don't we don't need to do that right now. We're not rebuilding this head; it's in good condition. But it is good to inspect this uh, camshaft. So then going back together, just slide it, kind of wiggle it back and forth in there. You might have to pull these caps off here to um, so that the so that the lobes are not um, hitting the rockers. Now going back together, since we are on top dead center, um, your you see, you see your sprocket there. It sits in there, that place like that. So you're either, you're going to be, let's see, there's the dot there. Going back together, your lobes are going to be facing down. And that's going to keep your valves, uh, your rockers from um, hitting the camshaft. This dot's going to be straight up. You can adjust that while it's, in, while it's in there, but you may as well get it close here. Instead of having your lobes stick up. So your lobes are going to look, it's kind of hard to see when like this but your lobes are going to be down facing that way putting it back in like that so that is the cylinder head on a bayou now we